If you are looking for pens to incorporate into your paintings, then you are where I was until very recently. I was looking to add some fine lines and even outlines to my paintings, and I was doing some research to find out what kind would work best for me. I was really interested in black lines to be specific, but if I came across something that had a variety of colors, that would have been okay too. Acrylics are my paint medium of choice, so I was really looking for something that could go well with acrylics, and I have tried a bunch of different things. I have tried oil-based paint markers before. Oil-based though, completely different. If I draw on my canvas with oil-based, first of all, it's permanent. You know that's never coming up. I can't then go over it with my acrylic paint because acrylic doesn't bond to oils. So that really wasn't the best thing for me. I have also tried using charcoal. Charcoal is really cool because it's blendable and you know it can give like a really nice soft appearance. That's great, but I always have thoughts of my charcoal coming off my canvas, not sticking exactly the way I want, not getting it to stay permanently. I was also hoping I could find something that would be a little bit more forgiving. So if I made a mistake, I could go back over my line, fix my mistake, whatever. Hmm, if I could wash it away, wouldn't that be even better? So I was looking for an acrylic based paint pen and here's what I came up with. Posca pens. So again, my main idea here was to get black ones. I also got white, just a little bit of a bonus. Um, they do come in a variety of sizes. The tips are different sizes and also different shapes and I'm gonna show you those. Before we get into the shapes and sizes of the pen tips that are available, let's talk about the why. Why we would use these pens. Okay, so we already talked about the fact if we're doing an acrylic painting, oil-based pens don't really work for us if we're gonna continue to work the painting because we don't wanna add our acrylic paint on top of the oil-based pen. So oil-based pens, kinda too permanent in a way. Charcoal, cool effect, but maybe not quite permanent enough. So let's say we're acrylic painters. This is the way that I would typically style my acrylic painting. My lines are not really straight. They're not looking to be clearly defined. I do these all with a paintbrush, but I was interested in trying a different kind of style of painting. So these paintings here have a different look to them. They are a little bit just more drawn. I really like the um, defined outlines on the pier. So this was something just a different kind of look that I wanted to go for, and these pens have helped me to achieve that. So for me, the clearly defined lines, in this case, my painting's looking a little more like a drawing, that's my why. Now, how do we achieve some of these things? The different shapes and sizes of the pen tips that are available. The lines I drew here in my pier are done with the bullet-shaped tip on the pen. This is bullet shaped and this is bullet shaped. I'm going to do white line on this gray painting to just show you. As compared to this one, this one here is chisel shaped. This is the largest one I have. This is an eight millimeter pen and the chisel looks like this. I can use the side of it, I can use it flat, and that's that. So these pens are super cool because they come in different shapes and sizes, and because they are acrylic based, that means they can be cleaned up with water. What does that mean? One of the major bonuses here is that if you make a mistake, you can wash it off before it dries. That is utterly cool. Of course, once they dry completely, they are permanent. So, boom. My name is Nicole Rogeman. My artwork can be found at neclectic.com or in my Etsy shop named Neclectic. I hope this video was helpful to you because like I said, I was on the journey to find the right pens for me. Hopefully this helped you and maybe these Posca pens are the right fit for you as well. Take care.